Hey there, my friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're going to be watching this. The Lord be with you. It's good always to be in the presence of God, whether we are able to see each other eyeball to eyeball, to be in the presence of one another, connected by His Spirit and His promises that give us hope and encouragement, and to be in a place where you're guaranteed to hear good news. And one of the biggest pieces of good news and the things that never change is that God's forgiveness and love and care for us as the Good Shepherd are real. Whether we are um, kind of locked in place and have to be doing this by a screen, which is kind of not our preferred way of handling things, or whether we're able to be in our actual sanctuary space um, with markers on the pews to make sure we stay six feet apart and with masks on. I know when we get to that point, it's all going to seem a little strange. It's going to be good to be together, but it's not going to be the same as what it was before. And yet those changes will never cancel out the gospel. It hasn't in the past throughout history, and it won't when this all starts to change towards being present together. So I hope you hang on to that as together we start with the two most important things I think that we can do to start off our time together. An acknowledgement of our baptismal identity, um, that we're God's very much loved children, that we have the sign of the cross that we bear wherever we go, and that we need God's forgiveness and restoration, and that he gives that forgiveness to us in abundance through his son, Jesus. So let's begin. God calls us to be his very own people and makes us a part of his very own family in holy baptism. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please follow along with me. If you have closed caption options on your screen, I would encourage you to turn those on so that we can do this liturgical part together back and forth. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Let us come before God in true repentance, seeking forgiveness and amendment of our lives as we follow the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has told you, O man, O people, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? Almighty God, we confess that we are indeed sinful we have done the evil you forbid, and have not done the good you demand. We do repent, and are truly sorry for these our sins. Have mercy on us because of Jesus, our Good Shepherd. Grant that, by the working of the Holy Spirit, we may follow where He leads, until that time when we, by His grace, come to dwell in your house forever. My friends, I want you to hear the good news. God has promised forgiveness to those who repent of their sins and turn to him in grace. Therefore, as a called servant of Christ and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are loved. You are forgiven. You are free. Not just free from your sin, but free now to hear the word of God, to lift up your heart to him in praise, and to give him everything you are for this life and the next.